start out saying that there are a few ways to answer the question of which gold coins to buy when you've got tight inventory and high premiums. The nearsighted view is to buy the coins that aren't affected by the premium hikes. And then the farsighted view, well, that's probably not to buy at all. Just wait for the premiums to come down. Now I'm a lot closer to the farsighted version, but I do see a bit of logic in either view. Now, the inventory squeeze and the premium spikes right now are telling us something very important, though. They are telling us what's in the highest demand. And for me, that's a pretty clear signal of what I want to stack. Now, here in the United States, it is without question the American Silver Eagles and the American Gold Eagles and Buffaloes. Now, all three of these coins have seen hikes in premium. And in the case of the Gold Eagles and Buffalo, they've actually been very hard to find. Counter argument is that something like a Canadian Maple Leaf doesn't have as wide of a spread between the purchase price and the sales price. But that really only applies if you're planning to buy and sell from your local coin shop. You know, a lot of us are. There are other ways, though. So there's merit in that argument. But if you've tried to buy or sell in the past few weeks, you'll know that the demand for eagles here in the United States far exceeds the demand for Maple Leafs. And if you were to go a little bit further, and look at coins like the Britannia, the Australian Kangaroos, and other similar coins, there's potentially an even narrower spread between the buy and sell price. And again, that really only applies if you're looking only at local coin shops or even online dealers. But there again, the demand for those coins is even lower still. And if we take this one step further yet, then you're gonna get into old gold territory with things like pesos or 20 francs roosters and similar LMU coins. And those seem like a great deal when eagles are hard to find and then they're selling at an inflated price. But once again, much lower demand. So if you take a long view and you consider why the eagles are hard to find and why they cost more, it's pretty simple. It's because everyone here wants them. And if you have any doubt in any of this, I would say you should really talk to anyone who's been selling over the last few weeks because they'll tell you that they're doing incredibly well with any eagles that they have, silver or gold, but even maples don't have near the demand. And it certainly has nothing to do with how nice either coin is. I personally say the Canadian maple leaf Leaf is the nicer looking coin, but it's not what people are after here in the United States. And this is the core reason that I think it makes sense to buy the coins from the top of the demand pyramid. In a case where there was a wide scale reason to sell gold or uh, a case of low demand that lined up with your personal reason to sell gold, you want the coins that everyone wants the most. Now, this isn't something that you need to strictly follow. I believe the idea 100% and I still have coins from foreign mints. It is something that I think everyone should consider though. Even though I have coins from the Royal Canadian Mint, the Royal Mint, Perth Mint, I don't have roosters, I don't have sovereigns anymore. And I had to learn the hard way on that one. Now that was about six years ago and I'm the first to tell you that things have changed, especially with the online dealers buying back. But if you have any doubt at all about the idea of eagles being worth having right now, I really think you should talk to somebody who's been selling. And if you know Vertical Stacker, I'd recommend you check out some of his recent videos. I'm not even sure that he covers the full extent of it in those videos, but I'm sure he'd tell you just how significant it has been over the last two weeks. So if you're scrambling to pick up gold, any gold, particularly if you live here in the United States, I just threw out the idea that maybe there isn't any real rush right now. I know that I've cooled down for the short term. I'm ready to buy again just as soon as the home team coins come back online. And I really don't think that'll be too far off. Now, I'm not making this video to tell you that your pesos or roosters aren't good. <laughs> and I'm not telling you kangaroos or Britannias or maple leaves or lesser coins. But as you're planning what you want to buy, I'd say you should try to build up a foundation of the stuff that everyone is tripping over right now to get a hold of. And if nothing else, this inventory squeeze has made it crystal clear what that is. It's Valentine's Day, so I'm going to keep this one short. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you again for watching. Take care.